you know, for Kettle and Fire, we're really in an interesting quote commodity space, right? Where we essentially use yeah. a byproduct of existing industries. Like nobody's raising yeah. cattle for bones. Yeah. So we are actually looking to partner with a few other brands and I don't want to name them just in case they're uncomfortable, but we are in active discussion with a handful where mm -hmm. we utilize bones. Another brand might utilize premium cuts and another might, brand might utilize what's called drop, which is basically all of the leftover meat that isn't utilized for ground or, you know, fry tip, ribeye, whatever those cuts are. And mm -hmm. that to me, that type of product, is like if we can take that demand and say, hey, these are three well-established mm -hmm. CBD brands who can buy X amount of poundage a year on whatever cadence, can you start to implement these principles and practices where we can scale acreage because like the demand's there, we're ready to buy. You know, and I think mm -hmm. that that model, like you mentioned, the Almond Project, they did some fantastic work there. That's another, you know, we, before we talked about Siete and these these models that have been proven to work. And I think that all CPG brands should look to the Almond Project as mm -hmm. this, you know, trailblazing collaborative effort between CPG to help to improve the way we do agriculture in new places. So um, I really appreciate that call out. Yeah, dude. And I love, I love the share on the kettle and fire piece. And I think what's so powerful about that example is to me, one thing we've kind of done wrong in the space is we've allowed, you know, the brands have totally outsourced raw material supply and that production piece to other people. And there's been no visibility, no linkage between farmer and brand. And those projects allow us to work with those aggregators or those middle supply chain entities, but in a way where the farmer and the brand hopefully have more visibility and more skin in the game so that it's not just a constant like drive the price down through the supply chain, but like truly a collaborative effort.